Well, hello, everybody, and uh, hi, I'm Tim. I'm Wayne. And today, we are here to talk about Battlestar Galactica. The board game. The board game, yes. That's why I like the board game. <laughs> uh, this is a game that I absolutely love. I love Battlestar Galactica. And for those of you that do not know, Battlestar Galactica is a hidden trader game from Fantasy Flight Games. And it's it's a long one. So if you're not into the long games, this may not be for you. But if you're into the show, it's incredibly thematic. Everything makes sense. And the intrigue and the stress is all built into the mechanism of the game. And it's just a fantastic experience. Yeah, and you know what? It's funny you said that, Wayne, because I think that you brought up two important points about how it's like a social deduction game and a really good board game, you know, with the uh, Battlestar Galactica thing. I think this is a perfect game for those people who are kind of real gamers, but also like the social deduction games. I think it's a perfect mix of the two. I, I would agree with you on that. Absolutely. Um because it's definitely not a game that I would probably bring in my non-gamer friends. I, I wouldn't start. I wouldn't start here. I might start with like the resistance. I think the resistance kind of boils that mechanism down a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, but for for what Battlestar Galactica offers, I think it's second to none, man. I love no. it. Absolutely. And the thing, what I found so intriguing is because I do like Werewolf. I do like Avalon. I do like those social deduction games. But it's nice to actually play a game like you're you're defending the ship, right? You're you're uh, killing other ships. You're, you know, moving around the ship. But it has that, you know, why did you do that? All that stuff in it. So it really just adds. It, it, it's just it's it's just fascinating. It's it's a really, really good game in that aspect. Yes. And. I uh, I didn't explain earlier, again, for those that aren't so familiar with this game, you might become the traitor halfway through the game. So oh, yeah. 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 explain that a little bit. Just explain how that works so they understand that. Yeah. Right. So um, um, very minor Battlestar Galactica, the TV show spoiler, very minor, like comes up in episode one. So don't stress. You may be a bad guy, a Cylon, and because of your programming, they're robots, not even know it. So this game takes that idea and there's the small deck of cards that says you're a Cylon, you're not a Cylon, and only half of them are dealt out at the first part of the game. So you're actually going to play the first part of the game not knowing if you're going to become a traitor. So it's like this weird, you don't want to do too well, and you're not sure if anybody else is or is not a traitor yet. It's really interesting. Yeah, it, but that is interesting because you don't – like if you're not a Cylon in the beginning of the game and you don't know that, like you said, you don't know how well you want to contribute to the game. You don't know yeah. how well you want to do because you may become a Cylon in the second part. And that's what really adds to the intrigue about questioning people's motives, right, and their actions and the things they do. But the thing that really helps is when you have to make a decision on, a, what is it, the crisis phase, right? When you yeah. have to make a decision that there's those two random cards that get put in from the communal deck um, that mix it up because you're not quite sure who contributed what, right? Absolutely. So there's a, there's a deck of cards that two cards from that deck are going to get put into these skill challenges at random. And certain cards will help you if you are a non-Cylon, and other cards are going to hurt you. So it adds another element of confusion. Did Was there a traitor that threw in cards and that's why we failed? Or did they just come from the fate deck and everybody else did throw in like they said they would? Right, so but, but here's the thing. So here's the thing that people may not understand about this is say, for instance, uh, whatever my character abilities, I forgot what exactly they're called. I may just be, say, like uh, red, white, and blue for whatever, right? So if the cards in the deck, you know, when you turn over to find out what people contributed, if they come up, say, you know, yellow and green, then I can argue the fact, hey, 
it couldn't have been me to put those cards in because I only yeah. generate. I can't even draw right. those cards. Right. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But it's sneaky because there are little ways that you can draw cards outside of your yeah. kind of home suits. So it is technically possible that you could have drawn them and we just didn't notice or we forgot about it or whatever. That I mean, this is one of those games where you don't trust anybody from the word go. Right. Right. You're, you're questioning everybody's actions immediately. Yes, absolutely. And I do think uh, this is a game for a minimum of three, right? It's three to five, I think. Of the it is. It's minimum of three to six, I believe, actually. Three to six. Three, three to six. Okay. And I would say at five or six, like towards the maximum player count is probably the sweet spot, right? That you I, want it in this type of game. Yes. I've, I've The general consensus kind of in the community is that five is the money spot. There is a... Cylon uh, sympathizer role that comes in with an even number of players. And I actually have never played with an even number of players. All of my plays have been at that five player count, just because I hear that's, that's where it sings. Right, right, right. And you did mention also, like in the beginning when you're given the description, it's yeah. a serious time investment, whether or not you know the game, right? Because yes. just like in Werewolf or any of those social deduction games, you may not actually be doing something tied directly to the game per se. You may be arguing and discussing, you know, like just calling somebody out or whatever. So you're yeah. spending a lot of time doing that. Yes. Yes. And that's, that's one of my favorite things about that game is the game happens up here. It's yes. not so much on the board. Yes. And I love that. Yes. I love when a game can pull you up. If you, if you're into the social elements of gaming, Man, this one, this one has it. Now, Tim, recently we played a game together and I was worried because I knew that you were not necessarily a fan of the TV show. <laughs> and this game is so thematic. You look at the special abilities and you're like, of course Starbuck is insubordinate and easy to throw in the brig. And you'd be like, what is a Starbuck? You don't even know what that means. So did you find that that, took away from your enjoyment of the game? Would you recommend this game to gamers that are interested in maybe just a trader but have no idea about the intellectual property? That's a good question because, no, it didn't take away from the game. However, I do feel I may not have uh, enjoyed it. Uh, well, I mean, I enjoyed the gameplay, right? I, I love the gaming and everything about it. But, yes, not knowing – the backstory and the history. Cause I remember you guys were talking about something or whatever. I mean, and I had no idea, right? Because I just don't know the show. Cause you saw the, the original, original, right? From the seventies. You saw yeah, that the show. original, original. Yeah. So no, I don't think that it didn't, it didn't hurt my play. However, I do feel that people who are into the series and do know it will appreciate it a little bit more. Yeah, I th I would agree with that. I think you're right. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm into the show, so I can't not have that perspective, of course. But that's what that was my concern. But I mean, you'd be up for another game, right? Oh, absolutely. And again, like when it comes to drawing characters, that was one of the things I noticed. I don't care, right? Give me a character, I'll just deal with it. But other people, some will take a character because they know what that character is or does. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, most definitely. So, yeah. So out of a ten. What would you give this game? Because on BGG, I have no 10s. Okay. I don't think it's possible under the BGG rating system to, for me to have a 10. But um, so with that said, I'm going to say 8.5. 8.5, okay. 8.5. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I definitely would agree there. I mean, it's a game I would like to play, you know, a couple of times a year. You have to play with people who are committed to the time investment who love the social deduction part and who are also into the game part. You got I think you have to make sure the whole entire group is on the same page because if you yeah. have one person who's a little off, it's just going to mess up the whole dynamic. It absolutely well. I agree with you 100%. Whole dynamic will be jam. What about you? If you're going to get it out of 10, you give I mean, it a yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's great. I mean, I think because, again, it's a cooperative game, but it has the cooperative aspects that I like because there's hidden information. It's not 100%. No, no quarterbacking. That is absolutely correct. And 
Yeah, and I just really enjoy that. That's like my third favorite mechanic is that uh, cooperative game with hidden information. I do like the social deduction. I like the actual gameplay, protecting the ship, killing other ships. I, I just think it's all the way around good. It's not my dry Euro type of game, so I can't go real high. <laughs> right? kind of there are no high. cubes in this game. We're yes, not playing sand nope. for... For yeah. peaches, no, none of that is happening. Yeah. No, no dry in. euro stuff. So, with that being said, I'm gonna, I'd be a solid. I, I mean, it's 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 a good game. So, I'm gonna give it an eight. It, it's just a good. Right. Yeah, it's it's, it's a really good game. That's yeah. acceptable, man. Yeah, good. All right, Wayne. Well, uh, I think that was a good talk. I hope people, if they have a chance, they should go out and play the game. Uh, try it. And call and, us. Uh, we'll come play with you. I'll, there you go. I'll in. Absolutely. All right, folks. Well, thank you very much. That was our. Uh, take on Battlestar Galactica. We'll see you in the next time.